Tracking the tropics here in the Action News Jacks. First alert weather center, a meteorologist Gary Beaton. We'll still have Jose, Maria, and Lee. The difference is now we have Hurricane Maria, the seventh hurricane of the 2017 Atlantic hurricane season, and now tropical depression Lee. You're not going to really worry about Lee too much longer. So we'll concentrate on Jose and Maria for this Tracking the Tropics update here on Sunday evening. Now, here is the 5 p.m. advisory for Hurricane Jose, Category 1 hurricane. Uh, you can see 90 miles per hour, producing some high rip currents for the southeast coast and increased wave action. But the latest forecast track could actually skirt some of uh, the coast of New England. So we'll at least be seeing some heavy wind and rain for those folks to the north and east before recurving. And actually, we're paying attention to the actual track and the end game for Jose because it could have implications on where uh, Maria goes ultimately. This is what it looks like on the infrared satellite imagery, the enhanced infrared there. You can see well to our north and east. This is Category 1 Hurricane Maria, though. These are the islands of the Lesser Antilles and will likely continue the west-northwest track as we head through uh, the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. We can see the deep burst of convection there near the center. That's what allowed the Hurricane Center to upgrade this as well as Hurricane Hunter um, Air Force Recon flying around in there in a plane at the C-130. So you can see here's the latest forecast track. Monday, Category 2, potentially the Lesser Antilles. Wednesday, potentially impacting Puerto Rico as a major hurricane, potentially as a Cat 3, almost Cat 4. Uh, and then we'll have to see how much land interaction there is with Hispaniola, Dominican Republic, uh, Haiti. There's some high mountains right there that could disrupt the circulation if it goes over it for too long. But still expecting to have a hurricane uh, by the time it makes its way again to the same areas that were impacted by Irma uh, there, at least in the Caribbean islands and the Bahamas. You can see there's the Turks and Caicos right there. And then it becomes a little more uncertain as to where exactly uh, Maria will go for its end result. And some models favor the recurve. Some get a little bit closer to the southeast coast. So we'll keep watching that for you here. We do have the comparison for you, though, between the European and the G GFS forecast models. We did this with Irma. I've shaded the GFS, the blue color, to kind of help distinguish it a little bit. Euro is in the yellow and reds. But you can see here, pretty tight agreement from days one through five. Then we began to split up a little bit by the time we go into t uh, Thursday and into Friday. But these two global forecast models, which, by the way, sometimes have a tendency to recurve systems too quickly, uh, stay offshore from Jacksonville's latitude by Monday morning. This is Monday, a week from this tomorrow, uh, Monday. But you can see right there. But still, we'll have to watch this. We did have the westward shift with Irma, so we'll have to keep watching it. And it does uh, help to know where Jose will actually go. That could influence some ridging behind Jose that would help steer it back into the U.S. But something to watch here. We'll keep updating these maps every day for you in the Action News Jacks First Alert Weather Center. So, Jose, on Monday, increased surf and rip current, especially north of us. We'll still see a few lingering swells and moderate to high rip current risk for Monday. Maria, Puerto Rico by Wednesday, too early for the U.S. to see if we have any impact. But still, we're going to be watching it for you and no local impact from Lee. The latest tonight at 10 and 11 on Fox 30 and CBS 47, Action News Jacks. And don't forget to check out Talking the Tropics with Mike at actionnewsjacks.com.